June is Pride Month, and a powerful new exhibit at the Maritime Museum of BC is telling the stories of mariners from the queer and trans community. There are stories that haven't been told until now, but help make up our rich maritime history. In this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stratton takes us to Queer at Sea. Here we have a model of the Haida Carrier. It's a self-dumping log barge. We're getting a tour of the new Queer at Sea exhibit at the Maritime Museum of BC. These are really personal, really intimate stories, and I think that that's what makes it so powerful. Stories of struggle from the queer and trans community, stories of hiding one's identity, and even stories of murder. The systemic oppression that has existed within um, many of our social structures, but particularly in some of the maritime ones, was really hard. It was really suffocating. It was really oppressive. It was sometimes dangerous. We have material related to lighthouses here. But there are also stories of love and acceptance. There were a lot of really hard moments, but for me, I really noticed that as much as there was darkness, there was light, there was love, there was people finding home and community. And they're all part of our rich maritime history here on the coast, but until recently, stories like this haven't been shared. These are stories that have historically not been told by museums. They've been underground. They've, people have had to hide who they are. And so we really wanted to bring those stories to light, but it was really important that people be able to use their own words to tell their stories, to allow marginalized people to be able to speak for themselves. For Yelena Putnik, who's passionate about sailing and identifies as queer, seeing the exhibit come to life has been heartwarming. I'm really touched by the commitment to self, you know, that shines in all the stories, even through the adversity. Individuals always knew who they were and always persevered in being their true and whole self. And that is uh, beautiful. The Maritime Museum hopes these inspiring stories will help showcase how diverse our maritime history is. I'm really hoping that they take away how far we've come, um, how much further we still need to go, but that how brave these people are, how um, open they were with us. The Queer at Sea exhibit runs until November. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.